What is up teachers on fire? Today I wanna to show you how to take your meetings to the next level using a couple of new features. One notably in Google Calendar, and then I'm going to show you how to assign tasks efficiently in Google Docs. So let's jump in to Google Calendar. Now this first feature that I'm going to show you is only available in Google for Education. So it's not available in your personal Google Calendar, unfortunately, at least that's what I'm seeing. Let me know in the comments if you've seen differently. So let's, let's create an event for 2022. We'll call it important meeting. And we're going to add some great people to this meeting. People like Teachers on Fire. People like Mr. KB. Oh, that one doesn't autocomplete. And people like my personal email address. And we're going to get that in there as well. And we're going to save and perhaps we won't send emails to myself. So we're going to invite all of our guests. Now, the amazing feature that I'd like to show you that is a little bit new and, and not very well known is called Take Meeting Notes. Now, maybe I'm overhyping this feature a little bit, but I think it's really, really helpful. Take Meeting Notes gives you this simple but efficient Google Doc already set up with all of the attendees hyperlinked here, and that's going to be very helpful. So right away, it tells me some attendees don't have access to this document, so I can share the document right away with them. And I can also assign, do I want to give them editing permission? Maybe I just want to give them commenting permission so that I'm the one taking the notes and they can suggest changes, but they don't have the power to delete everything or change my words. So that's the permission that I'm giving them. So again, a couple of things, the name of the event is hyperlinked and it links back to the calendar. Now you might say, why would I ever want to go back to the calendar? I just came from the calendar. Well, keep in mind, you may access this doc in your drive in the future completely in isolation from this event, and you may want to be able to go back to the calendar and take a look at where this event occurred and what else was going on at the time. And then all of these accounts, all of these attendees are hyperlinked as well, as I said. So I can open a detailed view about the contact. I can message the contact in Google Chat directly. I can open a video call and I can also schedule an event. And so all of those little features are actually pretty helpful. They link me to all of the people who were at the meeting. Now, one more thing that I'd like to show you that's been around for a while, but I find that some of my friends and colleagues aren't aware of this one. So we're going to say speak to Bob and connect with Sally. Actually, do you know a Sally? So sorry, Sally, if you're seeing this and speak to Edward, just making up some names here. Okay, so well, let's say we want to tag people with these tasks. That's going to be important, right? Different ways to tag people, different ways to insert comments. There is a hotkey on a MacBook. The hotkey is Option Command M. It looks like this, and I can tag myself and assign this event to myself and I will do that. So that's going to trigger an email to my personal Gmail. The other easier way, and one of my seventh graders reminded me of this this week, is to simply hit this comment icon right here. It's right there for you, so you don't have to go far. So again, it's just select text and hit the comment icon, and now I can tag, I'm using the at sign, now I can tag Mr. KV, he's in this event, and assign it to him. And that's going to, again, trigger an email that goes to Mr. KV, and it's going to remind him this action item, speak to Edward, is something that you need to get done. And once it is finished, he can uh, mark it as done, or he can comment uh, on this, he can comment on this comment and keep the dialogue going, maybe ask a follow-up question down here and so on. So that is a powerful feature and that keeps everyone in the loop. Everyone knows who's doing what, and you're doing it all right from Google Calendar and Google Docs. I hope this demo gave you a few ideas of how to make your meetings run a little more efficiently and just automate some of those quick steps. If that is helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe on the video. You know the drill. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Tim from Teachers on Fire, and I'll see you next time.